So, lens hoods. Do we need lens hoods? Lens hoods. Lens hoods. Not lens woods. Lens hoods. Hey, what's up, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about these stupid pieces of plastic or metal that we're putting on top of our lenses all the time to avoid what? And if you don't know how these things are working, I'm gonna explain it to you. Uh, you know, from my point of view, these pieces of plastic that are shaped as a like tulip, I think it's called, or uh, they're just straight square ones, or uh, they have this beautiful um, aerated design. Uh, I don't know how it's called, but why are we using this on our cameras? First and foremost, the lens hoods are helping with flare and flare is that phenomenon that happens when you're shooting towards a bright light and you have that beautiful haze or ugly haze, depending on the situation. Some might love it, some might hate it. It does uh, all kinds of crazy stuff to your images. It uses the contrast from time to time. It can be a little bit too faded and uh, reduce the sharpness but some love it, especially for portraits or uh, situations when you want to enjoy that beautiful light that hits the uh, lens itself. Now, these guys are basically helping you to avoid that and uh, create more contrasty, more sharper images if you want, or um, to reduce the chromatic aberrations and stuff like that. Nonetheless, I believe that this uh, lens hoods are helpful if you are looking to get that kind of image, but I'm not using them all the time. Most of the time I'm keeping them on the camera for other reasons and one of them is to protect my lens. Now this lens is special because it has a recessed front element so uh, it's gonna be very hard to hit it on something, especially if it's not something pointy or uh, sharp, but still if you have this lens hood on, the chance of damaging the lens is way, way reduced. And uh, I think that's a great thing, especially if you're shooting events or if you are someone who's traveling with their cameras, if you are shooting on the streets when it's crowded and uh, you don't pay much attention of your camera when it's hanging on your shoulder or on your neck, well, this is pretty, pretty helpful. They can be easily replaced though with what we call the lens caps and uh, these guys are even better because they basically cover the entire front element and um, I hate them. I basically keep my lenses open all the time because I always forget to take it off especially when I'm on the streets and I'm trying to be fast and uh, create fast images. Now back to lens hood. These are uh, better than the lens hoods because uh, you don't have to take it off and it actually protects the element when you're putting in your bag. You won't scratch it because you really have to have very pointy stuff to get like one inch, one and a half inch deep uh, to avoid that. Some lens hoods are even bigger, like around two inches, I think, right here. Some are smaller, like this square one. Now, these are some of the things that I'm using it for. Another thing that I love to use lens hoods for is the look. And uh, it might sound a little bit hipster, but I do like to have this squarish look on my lens. And you can't find these square lens hoods for all the lenses, but pretty much most of them. So if you are into that, and if you like this beautiful look of a square uh, lens, pretty much like a Leica uh, lens, a Leica-ish look, um, yeah, go ahead and buy one of those. So this is more like a fancy reason to uh, keep the lens hoods on. Now, the worst thing is that if you are like me and like small bags, like this one that I showed you in my previous video about the EDC, this is a uh, lower pro bag, uh, M Tracker HP120. And uh, this is a very nice bag to carry all day. It's basically a uh, crossbody or a uh, fanny pack and to put this camera with the lens with the lens hood on it's a bit it's a bit difficult and not because it doesn't fit because it does but when I'm closing this 
I won't be able to close the camera bag fully and uh, that's a problem. So if you're like me and carry small bags when you're traveling or shooting street photography or landscapes or anything that you want to travel with, well, then maybe lens hoods are going to be in your way. So uh, that's another problem. But in the end, I believe that lens hoods are great things that happened to our lenses because they protect the lenses. They also offer you that glare protection, that flaring protection, and uh, will protect the lens from very harsh light that hits it to uh, create that beautiful contrasty images if you are into that. Also, um, I believe that um, some manufacturers are over exaggerating with the prices on this plastic stuff. Paying $20, $30 for something like this, it's uh, the worst thing ever. So that's why third party manufacturers are producing more fancier metal uh, lens hoods that uh, will make the camera look better and also protect the lens better, being that it's metal. This plastic stuff, it's terrible. Now, you might debate one thing. You can use a filter to protect your uh, lens, and uh, I do have them, and there are all kinds of UV filters or sky filters that you can put on, and it's basically a glass that won't do much other than protect the lens from the UV uh, radiation from the sun and uh, it won't affect the image quality. Well, not all of them. Be careful though because some of them might be cheap and uh, create a little bit of a haze as well as uh, enhance the flaring and the glaring and everything that happens when you're shooting towards a bright light. They also might have a tint, uh, maybe a blue or a uh, magenta tint and ruin your uh, white balance. So yeah, that's uh, that's all about lens hoods and how to protect your lenses. And if you are into protecting and keeping your lenses for a long time, I think you should put a lens hood on and don't follow the uh, preacher because I don't know. For me, I am I'm not into that kind of stuff. Though I'm shooting events and uh, it happened to me twice in the past to ruin my lens, hit it in a corner and uh, ruin the front element. And one was repaired, well, uh, the other one wasn't. So. Yeah, you know, you take that, that risk, you know where you're going, and uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun video about this plastic, metal, whatever, aluminum, crazy stuff that we're putting on our lenses to protect them. Don't forget to stay focused, my friends, and uh, I will definitely see you in a bit. This is... I love it.